So please take your assigned seat. For hours, these stranded passengers could only wait, stuck in their plane at the Ottawa airport. It got to a point where people started getting like angry and were like yelling at the, the flight attendants to like open the doors. Laura Ma was one of hundreds of passengers trapped after her flight landed from Europe. Air Transat Flight 157 left Brussels at 1.30 p.m. local time. It was supposed to land in Montreal, but was diverted to Ottawa because of bad weather. Once it landed at 5.10 p.m. Eastern time, it sat on the tarmac for nearly six hours before finally taking off again at 11 p.m. You can't keep like over 300 people in a plane with like no AC, running out of food, running out of water. Like, you can't just do that when it's hot. Like it's just not right. Ma says there was little information about what was happening and why. At one point, the power went out. Who called uh, 911 from this aircraft? As the hours dragged on, some passengers called 911 for help. Emergency crews and airport staff responded with water bottles and helped people feeling ill from the heat four hours into their wait. In an emailed statement, Air Transat said bad weather caused a backlog of traffic and that airport staff were unable to provide loading bridges or stairs to enable passengers to get off the plane. But the airport authority denies that. The airport does not decide when uh, an aircraft is deplaned. We don't have that right. The airline owns the aircraft. The passengers are clients of the airline. Some say this points to a need for more protection for airline passengers in Canada. If we look at what, what's in place since 2010 and then in the U.S., uh, they have to give uh, water and food to uh, the passenger after two hours, and after three hours, they have to let the passenger go. In a statement, the Federal Transport Ministry pointed to the government's recently tabled bill to strengthen air passengers' rights to create clear standards when it comes to long delays on the tarmac. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.